Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, sorry. That's better. Hey guys, how's it going? I am uh, just here to talk about our 10 graduating players that I had the privilege to talk about, to uh, play with this year. Uh, I'm gonna start with James Redmond. All right, he, was on, he wasn't on our team for long. I think he was the last trade we made. Uh, he is a great guy. He was a huge add for the depth of our defensive core. Good right-handed shot on the point. And uh, oh, overall, just awesome to play with. Uh, next thing, I'm gonna move on to uh, Dylan Sharpley, the Sharpster, the Sharpmeister. Uh, awesome guy to play with, awesome half clapper. Um, he lives for hanging out with the boys. Hard working man now, but you know what? He's he's one of the ones that I will remember for a long time. Uh, Cam Brown, Cam Brown is a good right-handed shot defense. Uh, I real I do really really like the guy, and I hate it because. He is one of the main reasons we got out in my rookie year, and he helped us a tremendous amount in the playoffs. Uh, it was awesome having him out there wearing the blue and white. I'm going to now go to Vinny Quattrochi. Me and Vin played together in high school hockey, went to high school with each other. I've known him for a long time, so it helped with the chemistry, and I also didn't know that all the stuff that Vin went through at the beginning of the year with his Crohn's and everything, and uh, a huge amount of respect for him. Uh, I love him, I love all the guys, but Vin went through a lot, and uh, to be able to battle back, push through the playoffs, like, for me, I know that playoffs were really tough, you know, having to play every second game, even with the rest, it does a lot on your body, and uh, if, when it does that much more to you, I can't imagine what Vin went through, but to be able to pull it off, get the win, especially against his old team, that was, that was huge, huge amount of respect for him. Simmer, awesome line mate. Uh, I've played against him for a while, went to high school with him, played high school hockey with him. I'm pretty sure he's fourth all time in CCHL two goals, third all time in CCHL two pims. Uh, the guy's crazy. Um, he lives he lives to go hang out with the guys. He won't miss a he won't miss a beer league game, he won't miss a tournament, he won't miss an ODR tournament. He's always out there, always having fun with everyone, just loves the game. Uh, Willie, Ellen, you know what having your buddies out in the finals really turned our away ice to a home ice advantage having all those PB Dub fans I told them actually when we saw them uh, super calm with the puck you're a quarterback on the ice you make the smart decisions your wheels are super fast uh, great great man super classy and uh, always a pleasure to be playing on his team I'll, I, whenever I see you the rest of my life I will say hi and give you a big hug Stay, Steege, Steger. Uh, last minute add to the carpool group. Don't regret it one bit. Uh, now that I feel like I've only really known you really well for this one year. I never really heard of you before. <laughs> but I feel like I've known you for 10 years, man. Super easy to get along with. Me, you, Peacock, and Weedy on the odd time. Uh, we really gelled in the car and ran the truck. Super awesome. Your pregame meals of some sort of pasta, Doritos, and whatever else you eat is, it mind blows me, but you know what, it worked, and uh, I love you too, man, I love you. Uh, we're gonna move up to uh, good old Matthew O'Brien, one of my ACAPs. You were ph phenomenal, great guy, great hair, great truck, great hockey player, uh, great leader on the ice, super mean in front of the net, something that we love to have in the playoffs, we love to see in the playoffs. Um, everyone on the ice was scared of you with that big Grizzly Adams face of yours. Uh, great, great guy. And uh, you know what? Wouldn't have shipped with you, especially with be being on the second year on the team. And we have you, we have Sharpley, Murph. You're know, all second year playing on the team. And to win it with you guys is unbelievable. Mr. Tyler Murphy, he bleeds blue. That's, I don't know, I don't really know how else to describe it. He bleeds blue. Um, awesome guy. I think if there's one memory of Murph, it was probably last year when I think he screamed out his address every second game at home and it was the most scariest thing in the world. He'd be up on the bench screaming over at, he'd be climbing over the penalty box screaming at the other guy, telling him what his address is, telling him to meet him there after the game. And it was awesome. I loved every second of it. Power, quite the character. Clutch, goal scorer, just purebred goal scorer. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. We couldn't uh, couldn't have won without you or any of the guys on this list. Um, definitely learned a lot from you. 
But you know what? I will miss you. I'll miss having you in the room. Overall, we could not have won without the amount of points you put up and just especially in the final, you led by example. It was awesome to have it was awesome to have you out there. Um, and really it clutch is the word. Clutch is the word. Uh, last, definitely not least, our goalie, Johnny Peacock. <sighs> OG. You know, he's he's been here for longer than me, longer than Nate. Um, we've carpooled every practice, every game, maybe except I'm gonna guess probably only about five times we didn't go together the last three years. Um, he's awesome, great goalie. You know what? You can't win a championship without a great goalie that you can trust. And a lot of times this year, even in the playoffs, he made us look a lot better than we actually were. Mostly, in particular, that game five against OJC. Their first period, I got in the room and. Brian got in the room and I heard Vinny, Vinny was like, we just weathered a storm and Brian said, came in and said the exact same thing. And even guys in the stands, random people coming up to me like, you make the saves, bud. And without you, we could not have won the ship and I wouldn't have rather win a ship with any other goalie. You're the best goalie that I've had in the last three years. Obviously, we couldn't have done any of this without our coaches. Like, I, I can't uh, describe to tell you what it means to captain a team with the coaches like Brian, Bill, Mike, obviously we couldn't have done it without any of them. Uh, Jeff Jordan helped in the POs. I think our power play was like 41% or something in the first round. Um, it was everything we had, it just gelled. I, I went back and I thought, I, I kind of thought about the playoffs and I thought about the butterfly effect. Like we were down 4-1 to CP with 10 minutes less in the game. We, we came back, we scored down three on five and it, we, without Sharpley's last minute trip there and Simmer's slash, I don't think we could have done it. Everything that happened throughout all the playoffs, it happened for a reason. Uh, I loved every moment of it. It's what you play hockey for. It's what you, it's what you have those late Wednesday night practices for. Uh, I'm going to say my favorite memory of the playoffs, if not that CP series, obviously winning. But I think the the one thing that really demonstrated what kind of hockey team we were was being able to, like if you ask Cam right now, Mr. Browner or even Semington or even Power, how many PIMs he got, all see all the whole playoffs, it couldn't have been more than five or like, to be able to completely change your game, to be able to focus on the team games, to be able to focus on your job and get her done, it's, it's awesome. You know what, I couldn't imagine graduating, like I'm not, I'm not, personally I'm not graduating, uh, but for you rookies and you guys in your second year You guys are gonna be telling stories of these guys someday You guys are gonna be telling stories about Peacock, Power, Murph, Brian, Sharpmeister You're gonna be telling stories about Browner, you're gonna be telling stories about Simington, Willie, Stay, Quattrochi, you're gonna be telling stories about Vin all the time You're gonna be telling stories about Redmond and it's those stories and the legacy of these graduating players That's gonna keep this culture going our Blue Wings culture we, I wouldn't be surprised if we're the next cast. I think that we can keep on winning, and I think that we will keep on winning. Uh, but this is our culture now. Obviously, winning a championship here is everything, especially in the community of Perth, but to be winning it with you guys is awesome, and I thank you all the graduating players for uh, giving everyone on this team such a great experience, because without you guys, it wouldn't have happened. Uh, that's all for me, and uh, yeah. Thanks, Cam. Pumpkin. Hey, take your time and uh, enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Holy, here we are. We're at the banquet. You know, a year ago, I wasn't sure where we'd be when we got here, but we finally did it. We won. We're champions. Winning a championship like this in my last year is something that's untouchable. It's something that you can't be taken away from you, and it's... It's an unreal feeling to have been able to win a championship as a 20 year old and go out on top. Being a Blue Wing has taught me a lot over the past year and a half since I've been traded here. But one thing it's told me is to work hard and to make sure that you always are striving to achieve your goals no matter how hard it gets in front of you. Winning a championship in my last year means everything because uh, I've played in this league for four years and I've never had the chance to play on such a strong team. Honestly, it meant the world to me. I uh, spent four years in Perth, always working, coming Wednesday nights, knowing that you're going to be exhausted after. Uh, being on teams that have been to the finals, deserve to win it all, it felt 
felt fantastic to me. It's hard to put it into words. Winning the championship in my final year meant a lot to me. Going out on top against arguably one of the, one of the best teams in CCHL Tier 2 history, having only four losses all year, and then for us to beat them four straight, it was just incredible and surreal. Uh, what it meant to, for me personally uh, to be a Blue Wing is, um, well, it's meant the world really, especially my last year, uh, coming from Arm Prior. Uh, the difference between how you, be tr how you get treated here with the gear, the room, and everything like that, and the fan support is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a great experience being blown. Winning a championship in my last year was everything. Um, I had a couple chances early on in my career to be able to win a championship, and I played on teams that eventually went on to win championships, but I couldn't stay for the ride um, due to health concerns. And so to finally have my chance you know, here with the Blue Wings to be able to win a championship, it really meant everything to uh, finally get to, you know, be a part of a winning team and get the championship and be able to, at the end of the day, to uh, no matter what, nobody can take it away from you that we won. Being a Perth Blue Wing uh, has meant so much to me just because you're able to come to the rink and play in front of uh, such a great local fan base that packs the rink every night and uh, just makes it so much more fun. Being a Blue Wing was, has been amazing. Um, as you guys, most of you guys know, the first year I played Junior B was with Ottawa West, and uh, I wish that year was spent in Perth. Uh, the past two years, the most fun of hockey I've ever played, and uh, I'm gonna miss it a lot. Being a Perth Wing has kind of just shown me in life that you know, if you really do put in the effort and you commit, anything actually is kind of possible. And uh, you know, for what we did this year, I think that really puts that into into perspective. Like we beat. A team that was 38 and 4 took down a team that was five time championship or five champions uh, in a row. Like, I think that just kind of shows that putting in the hard work, showing up Wednesday nights to work, showing up uh, the odd Sunday morning. So being a Blue Wing is something that when you play on other teams in the league, you don't really understand. And then when you get to be a part of it, you, you really see that it's the culture and from day one in the dressing room, like, yeah, maybe you're not allowed to be on your cell phone at the rink for a few hours. Maybe you have to put in a little extra, little extra work on Wednesday nights compared to other teams in the league. And then when you see the results, when you see, you know, your brothers out on the ice working hard for you and you go out and work hard for your brothers, it's something that um, you really understand the, the winning culture and where it comes from. And, you know, it's no coincidence that um, this is the best team I've ever played on. And it's also the team that you know, has the best chemistry in the dressing room and also outside of the dressing room. We've never been on a team that, that hangs out so much away from the rink and, and, you know, it's not about coming to the rink and leaving the rink. It's about spending time with your brothers, whether it be in the dressing room or, you know, at Boston Pizza after practice or after a game on a Friday night. It's things like that that make a huge difference and that's how you get that winning culture, that family culture that, that comes together and that's something that's going to stick with me um, for the rest of my life, whether it be um, with coworkers, with teammates or with, with family. It's, it's important to, to put in the time and effort if you want the results. This season went by in the blink of an eye. It's hard to pick a favorite moment from this season, but I know I'm gonna miss warming up with the boys the most and all the joking around in the dressing room. This team was some of the best times I've ever had playing hockey. Thanks to my parents and grandparents for everything over the last 15 years of hockey. And thanks to Mike, Brian, Bill, Tristan, and Fisher for an amazing year of hockey. Also, thanks to Jason Code for capturing memories for us all. And thanks to Lexi for never missing a game. And lastly, thanks to the fans of the Blue Wings for all the support. All right, I'd like to thank Mike, Brian, um, Marc-Andre, Billy, uh, Tristan, Jeff, like all the coaches for all their time and effort they put into it. Um, what really resonates with me with when I talk about and think about the coaches is we're not just hockey players them. They, uh, they really care about us on and off the ice. Uh, when, for example, when I got hurt this year, I got constant messages from all the coaches, all the trainers, um, helping me recover, hoping, hope, like hoping that I was doing good, etc. So um, that's I'm gonna really miss that. I'm gonna really miss the community that we've been a part of the past two years. And um, I like to thank uh, my teammates, uh, guys like Ty, Jonathan, uh, Mac, Nate, uh, Matt O'Brien, um, Murphy, uh, anyone that's been there for like that's been there for. The, past two years because honestly uh, they were with it when we went through the down times and the up times and uh, they're gonna always be close to me. 
So people I want to thank, uh, I want to start off by, you know, thanking my boys. Um, they, uh, they drove a lot, some of them drove a long way to come, come watch the games in the playoffs and, you know, they're, they're painting their faces, they're painting their chests and, and coming with signs. Um, apparently they had bubbles in the crowd and, uh, you know, that's something that we're super thankful for, you know, especially, you know, you know, we're playing the game and we can't see what's going on in the crowd all the time, but hearing from people, um, that, you know, what's, what's going on behind you and, and that they're happy that your, your friends came out to support the team and that they're firing up the crowd. That's something that was awesome. And I'm, so I'm super thankful to them for coming out and supporting me in, in my last season. But, you know, more than that, um, thankful to my parents, obviously, of course, uh, just supporting me all through my career, whether it be if I want to play um, House League or AAA, they would have supported my decision regardless. And, uh, you know, putting in the financials, obviously, you know, hockey's not a cheap sport. And, uh, and you know, supporting me the whole way up and, and making sure that I have every opportunity to play uh, the level that I want and also, you know, coming up to support me in my last season. You know, I don't think they miss a game in the playoffs. And, and that was something that I was just incredibly thankful for. And, uh, and lastly, of course, the coaches and, and the staff, just, you know, Tristan taking care of us and, and you know, Bill taking the time to, to bring us into um, a winning atmosphere from, from Richmond and, and coach for believing in us and, and for, for building that winning culture. Because, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard on Wednesday nights, but, you know, when you, when you see the results, you see the ring on your finger, it's just, it's incredible. And we couldn't be any more thankful to have been a part of it. Uh, you know, we had some really good fans out there this year. Uh, we had a couple fans that uh, a couple guys brought in specially, and uh, you know they'd get painted up. They would whether it was signs for some of the guys or getting Perth painted all across their body. Um, you know, we definitely owe uh, a big thank you to those guys. They're uh, they're a big help out there. But on a serious note, uh, definitely my family. Uh, my family's given me opportunities that, you know, some, you know, you get once in a lifetime chances. And, uh, you know, they were willing to send me off to the States at a young age. And, you know, that cost a fortune and they were willing to almost have to downsize their house if things didn't, if things kept working out the way it was. And so I'm so grateful for them and I'm so blessed to have them as my parents. But uh, ultimately, another family member that really helped was my brother he really helped me get on track you know this summer we weren't sure if I was gonna be able to play because of health concerns and uh, because of him you know he got me up to the weight that I needed to be he got me to be able to stabilize that weight uh, you know with my Crohn's it's it's really hard to gain and lose lose weight comes really easy and uh, you know he, he's made me the heaviest I've ever been and all because of him you know I wouldn't be here uh, on the other side of this camera happy to celebrate a championship and you know, I owe it to them. Uh, they really mean the world to me, and without them, I wouldn't be here. One thing I'd like to say is I'd like to thank everyone that's helped me along this, along this ride. I'd like to thank the coaching staff, Michael. I'd like to thank Brian, and I'd like to thank Bill and Jeff as well. The four of you guys definitely helped us to go out there every night and get the job done. I'd also like to thank Tristan and Fisher for coming out and helping us as the training staff, making sure they're well prepared, we're healthy, well rested, and we're ready to go. And I'd also like to thank Marc-Andre LeBlanc as our stats guy, helping us make sure that we know what we gotta do as far as face-offs and percentages go. And he's also a good guy. He's been a great mentor for me when I was injured this year and was able to talk with him. And I'd also like to thank all the 20 bombs in the room. Without these guys, this year wouldn't have been possible. For sure. These guys put it all on the line. Everyone knew what was at stake. It's been a long career for all of us, so thanks guys for coming out. And then I'd also like to thank everybody else that was helping us out to get there and raise that cup. It meant a lot, each and every one of you guys out here, not just the 20 year olds, but every guy underneath us. I appreciate everything. And then I'd also like to thank the fans. You guys definitely supported us all the way. Without you guys, there's no way we would have gotten here. Every home game, we were unstoppable. We didn't lose at home once in playoffs. Unbeatable at home. And then lastly, I'd like to thank my parents and my family for helping support me through this huge playoff run. First off, I'd like to thank my parents um, as they got me into hockey at a young age and they've been traveling all around God's creation just to get me to hockey tournaments, hockey games. And the amount of time and the money they put in it's just amazing and incredible. Um, 
I'd also like to thank the staff and the coaches of the Perth Blue Wings for taking a chance on me as I left some of the returning players from the Perth Blue Wings last year, leaving the question, who the heck did we just get on our team? <laughs> and I'm glad I could help the boys win the ship. that you know that was kind of the catalyst for us to be able to to win that series against the Canadians because we knew what we were capable of and what we were capable of overcoming. Catalyst, fancy word. That's a good word, eh? Catalyst. Um, yeah. Last That's question. That's a new one, eh, Fisher? Catalyst? On Sunday morning, uh, you know, it worked. 